Hey guys, it's Elise from Michael Cake Addiction. In today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you my favorite recipe for a super simple kind of cheats caramel frosting. It's only got three ingredients. It's perfect for piping or for spreading on your cakes and cupcakes. I absolutely love this recipe. Let's get started. So your main ingredient and the one that makes this a real cheats frosting is the can of caramel. I'm just using a can of Nestle Top and Fill. Most supermarkets should have a pre-made range of canned caramel. You can of course make your own, but not all of us love boiling sugar and dealing with candy thermometers. I've got some salted butter. You can use unsalted butter with a pinch of salt, but you do want that salt because it's really gonna bring out the flavor. I've also got my sifted, powdered or confectioner's sugar, and I've got a spoon. I'll leave all of your quantities for these in the description box below. I'm using a mixer today with a paddle attachment, but you can also use a whisk attachment. The first thing that you wanna do is you wanna add your butter into your mixer and we're gonna beat that first for a good five minutes. This is one of the tricks to a really light and pipeable buttercream frosting. So you wanna pop all of that into the mixer, turn it on at high speed and let it beat until that butter becomes light, fluffy and creamy, but as a rule, a minimum of five minutes. All right, so once your butter's really nice and light and whipped, you might wanna give it just a little scrape down the sides to make sure that you've got all of that butter in the base of the bowl. And then we're gonna add in that can of caramel and we're gonna beat it again for about another 30 seconds. Perfect, so you wanna add in about a third of your powdered sugar or your confectioner's sugar, and we're going to start that mixing on a really, really low speed just to incorporate so you don't get a big dust storm, and then we'll turn it up to high speed and you're gonna beat that for a further two to three minutes so that powdered sugar is really well incorporated into that caramel butter mixture. You wanna repeat that process to add in your second third of that powdered sugar, Pop it all in and once again starting on a really low speed and you want to beat until it's really incorporated. You'll see your mixture starting to thicken up at this point. In between your mixes, you want to make sure that you are scraping down the sides of the bowl just to make sure that you don't have any unmixed powdered sugar sliding up the sides there. And then you want to add in that last amount of powdered sugar, pop it down and once again starting on a really low speed. Now this will be your final mix. With buttercream frosting, ingredients can vary from country to country. So if you find that your buttercream frosting is a little bit too firm at this stage, you can thin it down by adding in a teaspoon to a tablespoon of whole milk. Otherwise, if you're finding that it's not quite firm enough, you can add in just an extra cup or so of that powdered sugar just to thicken it up a little bit. It is gonna depend, but the milk and the powdered sugar are your best ways for sort of adjusting that consistency. So it's the perfect consistency for piping or for spreading or whatever you're going to use it for. So the consistency that I look for is when I run a spoon through it, it doesn't fall off by itself. I've kind of got to give it a few good shakes to get it off that spoon. For me, that's going to be perfect for piping, putting on cupcakes, perfect for spreading. I'm actually going to use this in a giant Snickers bar cupcake. So if you love Snickers and caramel, make sure you check out that video coming up next. As always, thanks very much for tuning into My Cupcake Addiction and I hope you guys love this recipe as much as I do.